Hey yo, LAZ, after this episode, make sure you go check my bros over there at InSource TV and watch that Super Trife Low Life's interview part two with Face Low, you heard? Leave a comment, tell him Z-Man Suicide Polo with the Ski Man sent you. Hey yo, LAZ, man, if you need organic promo for your artists, your music, your brand, or your business, send me an email at thechenpopllc at gmail.com. Or hit me up at Real Saint Laz on Instagram. You heard? Hey yo, shout out to the bro Dabney Hall home after doing 40 straight years in New York State Prison. You heard? I just gotta let y'all know how deep that Brooklyn history runs. You know, some of us out here, we be thinking our era is the original OG era. But when we dig, we find out everything we talking, everything we doing, been going on for eons. Like Nas said, going through the same issues our fathers, reading history, but who's the authors? You heard? Z-Man Suicide Polo with the Ski Man running around the hood like He-Man. If you not subscribed, you looking weird out here. Went up, I, I saw it, and I, and I went up, and I caught him in my hand. When I caught him in my hand, I spun him around, and, and bro, God is my witness, I bit the tip of this fucking nose off. <laughs> And the, the things I, that, that I went through, I done cheated death three times in the penitentiary, man. Three times. You see? Wow. Listen, I got a scar right here on my right wrist. That scar would have been right in my eye socket, would have hit my brain because he, 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 was, going, he was going after my judgment bank. And I block. Who took and when I block, that that right? joint? The same one you talking? The same one you talked about? What the with the individual? Or another or another time? Yeah. Oh no no no! Um, this is another time. <laughs> what jail was this in? This was in Auburn. What what y'all got? Bro. What y'all got into a problem over? Drugs. What he, you owed him bread or he owed you bread? He owed me bread. You know what I'm saying? Coming off the business, trying to, you know, trying to like, you know, put me on the back burner, take care of other people, man. He thought I was soft. You know what I'm saying? You know, because like, you know, now this is back in 83. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just coming up, you know, trying to, you know, my thing. Like I said, I still had the jail, I mean, the street mentality in me. You know what I'm saying? You know, and how Auburn was, Auburn, man, you, you get shot in a minute. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about, uh, uh, Another a person would would stab you or say back in there we used the flathead knife. It w wasn't no razor. Or, or we have an ice pick. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying you know that's do the weapon we had. You know it wasn't no razor. A dude slice no. You know what I'm saying. And um, when he tried to do that, right? He had he had a bone crusher. This this piece of, this bad boy was so sharp. But what it was happened like, though? You you yeah, you you and him was beefing at first, or you checked him because he tried to throw you on the back burner. Like how y'all got into the situation though? And that that's what it was because I caught him coming from the visit. See, uh, Auburn Correctional Facility, anything is through the yard. You can't duck nobody. Everything is through the yard. Visits, commissary, uh, um, uh, um, uh, Protestant services, uh, uh, um, gym. Everything is through the yard. You know what I'm saying? Everything is through the yard. So, you know, I, you know, I'm patient, so I'm waiting by the fence. See, back in then, um, the telephone was as as you come out from the uh, from the visit room towards the back, I'm trying to describe it. And and you come through, you have the phones right there, and then you have, you know, people coming in, you have uh, A block, you have C block, uh, B block, uh, you got A block, B block, and then you have, uh, B block was the mess hall block down there. You had to, it, it, everything now is all changed, but how it was structured, 
everything is in the yard. It's wide open, nothing but concrete. And when he comes through there, so I caught him for the visit. You know, and the package down. So I said, yo, man, what up? He said, yo, man, oh, I'm, I'm going to see. You know, when I come back down, I'm going to see. I said, all right, all right, cool, cool. You know saying, you know? So we're like, come back down, drop yourself at the visit. But see, I didn't know he had the gun. You know what I'm saying, you know? And, you know, and, you know, God was on my side. You know, he had the gun. So he said, yo, what's up, man? So we went under, the gym is built, like, see, you go under the gym, like, outside the gym, is like a, 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 a thing that come over where you can um, hide yourself, like, from certain police booths that's in the yard. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, when he did that, he went, went up. I, I saw it, and I, and I went up. And I caught him in my hand. When I caught him in my hand, I spun him around. And, and bro, God is my witness. I bit the tip of his fucking nose off. <laughs> Real talk, bro. You know what I'm saying, you know? Well, hold on, hold on. So you, you said, you said all of that was, all of that was him fronting when he was like, yo, I'm going to see you when I come back. He was, he already knew he was going to try to stab you right then and there. Yes, yes, and thought I was that stupid. You know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. Come on, man. So as soon as you went in, uh, as soon as you went in that cut to poly with him, he just pulled out the banger and tried to hit you. He, 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 I just going in there trying to uh, trying to do a rush on me, catch me. You know what I'm saying? Nah, nah, nah. Cause listen, I used to box, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I know how to block. You know what I'm saying? And 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 and, and I'm gonna take a picture of this scar because it's so and, and show you, man. That would have came. I mean. I've been a attack. It would attack on my toe if he if he were to connect. I'm keeping it real with you. So so you said you blocked it with your wrist, but you said what was it? A, a flathead or an ice pick? No 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 no. It was a flathead, but he had sharpened it. Like like okay, you know oh uh, you know like you got a sword but a little dagger. Yeah. He, he had sharpened it like that. See back then and also in Auburn and back in Clinton back in the seventies and the late. Okay, they stopped in the late 90s. You just have the butter knives, right? And and people used to make out butter knives and, like, sell it. And they, they sharpen it and they make knives out of it until they stop all that. You know what I'm saying? You know? Yeah, you know, some shit, man. A lot, a lot of stuff we used to get, man. You know, that's why the, the metal beds. That's what we used to have, them, uh, the uh, metal beds, like, with the, with the strip of... It's like a, uh, a razor blade, but it's long, like the strip with the hooks are open it. Mm-hmm. Now everything is all metal. We, we had that back then. God, you take that man around and, and make a weapons out of that. You know what I'm saying? Out of toothbrushes. You know what I'm saying? And you can't have them heavy plastic hangers. You know, the real thick round ones? Yeah. You can't have them because you can put them in the poster shop, bro, connect two of them together. You go through a metal detector if you want to check. You know what I'm saying, you know, they get them, them, them flimsy hangers, you know what I'm saying, and pinches. Mm-hmm. Everything changed. Back so, things happened. All that. So what happened? You said the force that he tried to swing with, though, it would have went, you think it would have went in your eye through your brain? No, it, no matter of fact, how I blocked it, he would have came he, he through my eye. He would hit my juggler bang because it was sharp as well. He really connected. He would really connect with T. The block I did, I spun him. Like, like when he went up, I went up like this, I blocked it, and I spun him around because his arm is over me now. So I got the advantage of him now because he didn't connect, he didn't come down so, you know, so he can get a, a good shot. No, I had his arm still up. And when I spun him around, that's what, he's facing me now. And that's what I took the chump right out there because I had him all the hole and everything. So you bit the tip of his nose off? Did I? It's big pussy pork, you damn right it is, because it's in between two hams, don't it? And what happened after that? After you bit his, after you bit the tip of his nose, well, I know he was screaming. He was screaming everything. That's when the police started rushing over there, and I, and I, I took my licks, took my time up in the box. I'm saying, you know what happened? I said, yo, I don't know, man. Uh, he must be on medication. I said, I don't know. I'm saying, you know, and that was gone, and, and that was it. Took me straight up to the box. He, he had dropped the banger? Did he? Hell yeah, he dropped that motherfucker. But Bob Baker Prison wasn't on it. Yeah. Yeah, you know? And see, in the box, man, you mean a lot of individuals, like, 
like Samuel, man, like the guy that allegedly said that he killed that police girl in um in Green Haven. I was there, you know what I'm saying, you know, um the garbage can dump. You, you can Google that up, it is. You yeah, know what I heard saying? about that. Yeah, you know, I know him personally, man. He didn't want to stop the visits. Like, 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 he used to get visits every day up in the box. So they came down with the thing, said, nah, because he's not doing time up in the box. He's doing time because cause they gave him 15 years in the box. And but he, 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 gonna... he, they knew for a fact it was him that did it, though? Like, he really did it, or? Mm-hmm. I no, mean, a le- no. like, was he proven in the court? He went to trial for that shit and got proven that he did it? Now, I don't know if he went to trial, but he got 15 years for that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he went to trial now because the uh, the officer husband, I knew him, he worked up in Clinton. He didn't believe that he killed her. Killed her. He didn't. Mm-hmm. It, was, it, was, it was, yeah, yeah. It was, it was a whole big thing behind that. He didn't believe. You know what I'm saying? He didn't believe that he, uh, uh that he killed him. And, saying, and you know, he was saying that he didn't do it? Yes, yes, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because how could he move the garbage stuff? Okay, because when you're in Green Haven, back then, you had come through one, two, you had come through three gates to go out to the garbage stuff. And each gate, you got to come out of the officer, got to open the day, open the gate and control it. You know what I'm saying? And, and the, the, the garbage dump is one of the big dump where the garbage truck come in and you know, bring it up the machine and go over it. That's how big it was. You know what I'm saying? You know, because when 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 time the porters take the garbage out at that time, but at that time, it, it was no movement. You know what I'm saying? They gave 15 years in the box, but you know, they kept them in there until, you know, he, you know, he passed away and stuff like to see him, you know? You know, he fought it tooth and nail. Uh, he got a lot of... He used to get visits every day, and that's when they stopped all that visit every day from him because um, they feel that he wasn't doing the time in the box. So, like, you have uh, Saturday or Sunday on the weekday, the, uh, a week weekend to get a visit. Then, like, on a, a, a weekday, you only have, like, a Monday or Wednesday. You know what I'm saying? You know, things like yeah, people that are up in uh, SHU, Special Housing Unit. You said they used to be able to get a visit every day and they did it that? Yes, they should get what every, yes. It's, it's only like once a week now. That's crazy. You know, yes, yes. I, I, I tell you, man, the young brothers, man, think it's hip going up in now. The whole system changed, man. No change. You know what I'm saying? And I was seeing the transition as I'm leaving out that penitentiary when how the, the police and, 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 and other dudes, man, are talking about old time of night, the pants be sagging. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, listen, listen, man, you know, that's why I, I, I'm on the news every day in China where I see young fellas, I talk to them, you know what I'm saying? It's up their spirit, man, because thing that you're doing, come on, bro, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's, 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 you know what I'm saying? You're wilding, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, take them from a man that's been there, man, I listen. Listen, if you out there doing your budget, get a job, man. And you know you got income coming in. If you don't sell that much weed or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You know you got income because you got a job. You know you got something coming every week. You know what I'm saying? Do the thing that you love, man, you know? And that's what I, I kept my vision while I was in there, man. As a, you know what I'm saying? As a young doing time, man. I never lost faith within myself, bro. Never. Never. That's one thing, never give up. And how I transition through that is, once you flee negative temptations, you don't leave a form in an address. It will not follow you. And that's exactly what I did. You know what I'm saying? I never leave a, a form in an address. And nothing thing the negative man that within my past. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. Oh, I brought my green, uh, my, um, my uniform home. I got my uniform. And I got the hat. They used to give us back in the 70s. I still got that hat. I brought it on. That's, uh, that was my battle hat. That's my hat uh, where I used to uh, be uh, if I have to go out and do some work. What kind of hat? How, what type of hat is it? It's, it, it, it's, it? It's a green claw baseball cap. Uh, it's made like a baseball cap. Mm. Yeah. 
Yeah, and, 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 and yes, that had did did this time with me, bro. And I, I brought that home too. You know what I'm saying, you know, yeah, because like things that we showed individuals and said, listen, 40 years I wore these pants. You have different shirts with certain colors. These cut back, but these pants, man, so you have to have on going through the corridor, or going anywhere. If you go in the gym, you can have your sweatpants on. You know what I'm saying? But if you're going anywhere in program, you better have a pair of green pants on. I don't care what color shirt it is. And, and, and now, your shirt got to be tucked in. <laughs> Back in the day, you but man, listen. Never, never that, man, you know? But, and, and then we used to have pants with the belt hoops. Because I used to work in the tailor shop. And I know about tailoring as well. Out of all the max jails you've been in, what's what's the worst one to you? Okay, I gotta say it's two of them. Clinton and Attica. Yeah, that, that's starting to be kind of uh, everybody. Everybody believe. Everybody says those two is the worst. Yes. But now I heard all burners. I heard all burners is the, is the fucking worst now. Auburn, okay. Auburn, okay, Auburn was sweet back then. Auburn was sweet. You see, now, uh, how they change it, you know, like one side go out to the yard, other side go out to the yard. And Auburn, they, they you know, last time I've been there was in, it was in um, 87. And um, they, you know, they, 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 they changed that a lot. But see, now, being that everything is open now, you know, in Auburn and doing certain things, that's where a lot of guys, man, you know, that's, you know what I'm saying, that, that, that really mess up. They don't want to go to South Fork. They don't want to go, man, listen, to go to spots, man, where you, you locked in like a dog cage, bro. You're the kennel. You're in a separate kennel cage, man. Where you like being like that? Come on, man. A kennel, man. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, the young brothers come up here, you know, the, the, the fighting. That's why right now, when you go in Southport Box, you got a handcuff on the back, you're taking a shower. Now, if you're going out, whatever, you have the red mittens on, or they know that you a kicker. Everybody, listen, back then, Auburn, I mean, I mean, uh, in Southport, people come out to be professional kickers back. They would, they would kick and knock your ass out because your hands be cuffed. So, so, they, so they practice with their feet. You know about that, right? Yeah, my bro, Sha Sha, got a couple of stories on the channel where he was talking about how dudes is knocking dudes out, drop kicking them and karate kicking them. Niggas start, yes. dudes start turning to kickboxes. Yes, yes, I'm telling you, yes, 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 bro. Look, let me tell you, there's a will, there's a way, man, of how, like, spots, like, could, like, you know, when you go to spots like that, and, and, and knowing, could, like, at, like, Southport, you got to do, like, a year or more, you know what I'm saying? That's all they keep in the bitch, you know what I'm saying, you know? Some guys don't want to come out of uh, Southport because um, they they can't go to no population, you know what I'm saying, you know? You know, and, and I ran into a lot of individuals like that. You know what I'm saying? No, you know I'm saying, uh uh. So, like, Southport people at home, so when people come through there, because you have, you have three levels you have level one, level two, and level three. Level three is like a, a honor. You know what I'm saying? You can get candy balls and all this stuff like this here in Southport. You ever seen somebody? In, in one of those spots try to get dope and he just wasn't built for it like to sell dope in there of of listen of course listen I could give you a recipe on that of individuals like that what I was doing that in Sing Sing shaking them down when they call on the visit like um I, yo you know what time it is um also in Sing Sing keeping it real with you man when I know that okay this is a dude named Santa Claus, we used to call him. You know what I'm saying? And um, he's like, you know, he's selling some dope or whatever, right? I robbed his ass. He was high as a kite. Trust me. 
And he was high as a kite. His cell was open. He was like, ow, high as a kite. So I bent over. I looked on his locker. He had an ounce of weed and two bundles of dope. So at that time, being you a night quarter, and I was a night quarter in, in Sing Sing, right? And you had your sweatpants with the uh, rubber, I mean, you know, the, the guy that had the um, ankle. So what, so what I did, took that, threw it down on uh, 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 my sweatpants leg. I peeked out of the cell. Nobody come. It was it was another dude coming down the cell. And he said, he said oh, is um, uh, Ch- I said, I don't know, man, you know, whatever. So I'm walking. So when he woke up that morning, it was, he got robbed, right? Okay. Keep it real with you. He got robbed. So now my name go out there. So now he telling people, yo, man, what's, what's up? You think it's what up? So now I got a contract over my head from him. Keep it real with you. So now my, I told my boy Chill, God bless you, dead. Told my boy Gino, which we call him Gangsta God. He was from Manhattan. Knew my boys, Latique. Knew my boys and my comrades, right? So they said, yo, man, what you going to do? I said, no, don't, don't worry about it. So I went and Sing Sing at that time, they had the old, like, like the, okay, you know the, the lights that's, that's, that's long, uh, and you take the bulb, the bulb is long. You know yeah, what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. But it was, okay, but it, 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 uh, and back then the same thing, they had the shorter ones. You know what I'm saying? You take the bulb out, you know, blink or whatever. Anyway, and up there, I used to have my little uh, baby machete that I had, right? And I took that down. Put in my waist, I tied up my tail, my boots, or whatever. So I go down to a cell. And he had two Spanish brothers sitting up on his cell. So he said, Yo, I said, Yo, I want to talk to him, man. You know what I'm saying? So he said, Yo, he said, what's up? I said, Yo, man, I said, what? I said, Yo, what's this contract shit you got about me, man, that, you know, took some dope from you, man? You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Nah, man, but this is what they said. I said, Yo, man, do you think I took it? Yo, here I am. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. He said, Nah, maybe I go through that. Now, at that time, he had his curtain up in his cell. He was cutting dope, right? That well, well he was bagging it. That not really coming because 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 you get over it like he was doing the dope, right? He said, "No, nah, it's all manual." Well, I said, "Listen, man, if you know I'm coming, you're not gonna act shit." You know what I'm saying, man, I played them game like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying, you know, he bought it. So now he was trying to give me some dope, and he said, "Come on, man." I said, "Nah, man, you sniff first because you gonna get me like that." You know what I'm saying? So he get it like that. I said, yo, just put mine in the paper right there. Broke out. And that's how I got around that. Did he did he sniff it first? Of course he did. <laughs> wow, what they was what they was getting their hands on to try to give dudes? They was getting rat poison in there? Uh, no, 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 no. See, it, okay, no, see, this is my thought. He said he had a contract with so he so while he was doing that, he'll have some dope there knowing that I fuck around. You know what I'm saying? And he can get me like this. This is the thing that I was thinking. You know what I'm saying? Well, no. Like, he wanted to see if you if you, if you fuck around to see if you the one who stole it or not? No, okay. If I did, now, I was thinking this shit. He can give me some rap course or whatever. That's why you step in first because I, why I come up there, coincidence, he got his curtain up and he got dope on the thing right here and they saying, you know, Cause when I, as I'm coming out of the tier, the two or the village said in Spanish that Shah's coming. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what he would have did then. That's what he had. Anyway, that's how my mom was thinking. And nah, 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 uh, uh, uh you get me like that. You know what I'm saying, you know, because I done seen like you know a lot of individuals, man, go out suck ways like that. You know, thinking that everything is all well and good, and, and they be dead as a donut, man. You know what I'm saying, but. From yeah, what? No. From rat poison? They be getting the rat poison in the can? No, no. They be getting some kind of poison, man, where you go to the hospital, and if you don't get that faster, you won't make it. Yo, I don't... Listen, in Sing Sing, it, 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 man, God bless them, my boy, I had helped him. Um, the individual had cut him, and I helped him. I had his guts in, in my head. We was running to the, uh, to the infirmary, man, to help him out. You know? I had said, individuals, man. You said somebody that, cut him, what, with a scalpel or something? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh,
he, what, he cut the dude across his stomach or something? Yes, he did. Showed up. And you said Showed his guts up. was hanging out? What was that? He was, he was twisted. I done seen some gruesome stuff, bro. And I done, and well, I done, what happened? You said you was, you was, you was, you, you ran with him to the infirmary? Yeah, I helped him out. Yes, yes, yes. In the infirmary, I'm saying, I grabbed the towels and everything, I pressed everything, ran to the infirmary. Me, it was me and um, John John. You know what I'm saying? Went right to the infirmary. But also, I did, did open the gates up. Bang, bang, go down there. You know what I'm saying? You know? I don't know what happened. I'm the best. So they, and they put me and John John on the investigation because we broke them down. They didn't want to know. We probably did it now, though. No. They only put us on a three days investigation. You know? See, so things like that, you know, we don't, they put you on, you know, well, you know that, put you on investigation and stuff. You know? I've been on, on investigation plenty of times. So you, said it's, yeah. you said dudes will try to get you up out of there like that, hit you with some shit in your dope, and if you don't make it to the hospital in time, you'll, you'll be a rat? You, you, you did as a dope now, you know saying? Or, 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 or they get some dope that's, that they ain't been cut, and, and, and a person be greedy. I done seen, I done seen a lot of dudes od man. You know what I'm saying, you know? You, if you could OD like that from sniffing? Or dudes, of course be you, dudes don't of be course shooting you. up in there, right? Yeah, but very, very few. And they, they do it, they real old time on the down low. Very, very, very few. You know what I'm saying? But mostly, you have the snippers. You know what I'm saying? And mostly in there, you have a lot of guys, right? That's um, just like a lot of coke back then. You know what I'm saying? You know? I had a few partners, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, like, they, they you know, we used to sell it in there, the, the coke and everything. Or, or, or we used to sell, like, the grams, you know what I'm saying? You know, like, say, like, say for a half a gram, or like, say in the street back then, you get a, a $20 and it looked like a gram, right? And there, and there we sell, like, for 100 or $150, you know what I'm saying? We want a gram, you know what I'm saying? You know, like, just say, you know, the price is double, just like the, like the dope bags in the street, if you sell that bag up top, that's fifty dollars. So what they do, they take that bag, they break it down into twenty fives or twenties, or break it down to get commissary for. Okay. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So uh, suspicious. Yeah, yes, it is. Like I said, on the strong to buy certain things. I'm saying, you know, um. You know saying anything they like back then you have guys that have stores in it in in, 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 in their cells, you know what I'm saying? You know, um like guys in the mess hall be selling their swag. You know what I'm saying? You get your um you, whatever you get, chicken and fries, you know what I'm saying, you know, or a pack of cigarettes. You know what I'm saying, you know, um you have a contract like me, when I used to work in the butcher shop, I had a contract with Italians, I used to like hit them off with 40, 50 states a week. You know, but I, just, I just still sleeves with chicken, man. You know, when I was in Green Haven, the third time, as you said, you know, that was my hustle, man. You know, you know, Joe Boy, I, 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 John Gotti, he was he locked the cell away from me, bro. It's real talk. In 1976, yes. Yeah, well, did a state. Yeah, did a state bed before back in the days. Yeah, yeah, like a like a violation. Yes, 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 he did. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Yes. That's when Joe Bull Mom used to come and visit him. But I used to go down to the visit room to pick up the package for him. You know, like I was talking about the food package, you know. No drugs, the food package and stuff. I know a lot of um, top notch um, Giddings, man, up top, up north, man, you know. Dude, I respect them and they respect me too, trust me. Yeah. Was they back in the days? Was they getting busy up north? Because I ain't really see too many. Maybe in the max jails, but I ain't really see too many Italian dudes on the course of my bed. Like, well, like grouped up, like deep and grouped up. No, but, but back in the in the seventies, eighties, they was in the early nineties. Yeah, they was like that early nineties, but mostly in the maxes. You know what I'm saying? You know. Because, like, a lot of them, when they come up, they got an asshole full of time. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. They got an asshole full of time, you know?
Hey yo, LAZ, after this episode, make sure you go check my bros over there at InSource TV and watch that Super Trife Low Life's interview part two with Face Low, you heard? Leave a comment, tell him Z-Man Suicide Polo with the Ski Man sent you. Hey yo, LAZ, man, if you need organic promo for your artists, your music, your brand, or your business, send me an email at thechempopllc at gmail.com. Or hit me up at Real Saint Laz on Instagram.